October 7th was, was so severe that it was, it was a massacre and there were so many soldiers. My lieutenant in the army couldn't do it herself. Uh, she's the one that usually goes into a family and, and supports them. So we, we don't go into the family and notify the family, but our official uh, job description starts uh, a week later when the notifier steps out and we step in to support the family. And what, what, how do you support them? What, is it emotional support? Is it bureaucratic support? What's so, the... Officially, we're like the middleman between the army and the family. The army is, is, not, is not used to, not meant to deal with the regular society. Mm-hmm. You know, whenever they have a soldier that needs to do something, you have a sergeant that's going to tell them what to do. Suddenly there's a family in the picture because he's, you know, these are the parents of that soldier. How do we work with that family? How do we support them? So if they want to give something to the family or they want to notify the family of some new information... They're always going to have that person who represents the army, who's kind and, and compassionate and, and caring and sensitive, but who's still a soldier. So, so they feel that the army is the one that came and not just some random social worker that's you know, not part of the system. 